Hello, welcome to Murphy's Kitchen. Healthy cooking, it's a lifestyle here. Oh, hello, families. Thank you so much for tuning in and welcome to my channel once again. Today video, I'm just coming to share how I make my agusi, agusi or melon seed stew or sauce. It has so many names, so you can check it out. So these are the two fishes that I'm coming to use, uh, mackerel and big ice skate. The big ice skate in my country, we call it tumbio, but the mackerel, we call it mackerel. So I'm using coconut milk for today. That's my homemade coconut milk. You can use the store one or your own coconut milk. So my fish, as I've already washed it thoroughly with vinegar and salt and skin. So I'm just coming to steam it. I've added my blended spices and my one herb frozen cube. And also check from the beginning of the video. I have all the list for this recipe and the spices you can use any kinds of spices of your choice. So today recipe I prefer to steam the fish because I like the taste that gives to this sauce when I steam the fish. So you can prefer to go for smoked one. You can just choose the way or how you want it so and the protein or the fish you can use any kinds of fish any kinds of protein whether meat chicken of your choice now i'm just going to cover my fish back and allow it to summer for some few minutes whilst i'm prepping the egusi powder so here is my egusi egushi or melon seed it's already washed thoroughly nice and I'm just coming to blend it. So I'll bring a video to show you how I wash and I prep my greasy powder at home. So I'm just blending it smooth, not too smooth, but uh, sun-like texture that it can be a little bit rough. Yes, that give me the nice texture of my sauce. So at this time, I'll just pour it in my bowl and I'll set it aside. So I'm just checking back my fish after some few minutes it's already done and I'll just set it aside for it to cool down while I'm going to start the sauce or the stew. So I'm using two oils for today, coconut oil and red palm oil. So that's what I'm using for today recipe. So I'm just blending the oil. I've added in my cut onion. I'm just going to allow it to fry to my desire. Just a few minutes. So after some few minutes, the onion has been Try to my desire and I'm just going to add in my homemade tomato sauce. So the tomato sauce, you can use the fresh one, the store one or your own homemade. So this is the coconut mock stock from the fish that I steam. I added it so that it will add extra taste to the sauce. And I'm just adding in just one tablespoon of tomato paste. I always prefer to use more fresh tomatoes. So it's your choice. So these are my spices or the seasoning that I'm going to use. Since I'm using fish, I'm just going to add some fish season to it and all my videos or most of my video I always prefer to use herbs season or spices because they are natural it gives my food extra taste it gives yummy taste to my food so especially they are natural so I always prefer to use herbs spices so the seasons or the spices you can use any kinds of spices of your choice the oil you can adjust it because I don't like too much oil most of the time on my sauce or my food. So now I'm just going to add in my fish. Always check for your salt. The salt is to your taste. So I've added my fish. I'll stir everything. Then I'll just add in my egusi mixture. My fish kitchen. So this is my egusi uh, powder, whether egusi, egushi or melon seed powder. 
how you call it. So I'm just going to mix with some water. The water quantity is up to you how you want it. I'll add a little bit of salt. In my country it had a mint that when you add salt it gives your sauce a uh, different texture and I love it. So I just added the salt. What is the salt in it? Fra. How many texture be? How many bon kruwa and kruwa kama kama to be a fry na? Uh-huh. So now I'm just going to add it to my sauce. Make sure you turn your heat low or to medium to prevent the bath or the base of the pot from getting burned. So I'll, co I'll stir it, cover it up for a few minutes for it to cook for just extra few minutes. So I'm checking it back, it's good. So at this time, I'm just going to add in my vegetables. So I'm using broccoli, cucumber, red and green bell pepper. You can use any kinds of vegetables or greens of your choice. But today recipe, I'm just using these vegetables. So go for any vegetables or greens of your choice. Over you, raise your hands if you know you sabi cook. Give me something local, something special. Something I'll stir everything together. I don't want to overcook my vegetables. So I'll stir it, cover it up for just one to two minutes. Then my sauce is ready. And you can imagine you can eat with anything, anything in the household. So we are going to enjoy it with some rice, jam, so many stuff. So thank you so much for watching. And if you have not yet subscribed to my channel, Please take just a minute, subscribe to my channel, hit all notification bell so that anytime I upload a video, you will get a notification about my video and leave a comment, share and like and until I come your way with another simple healthy recipe, I know this will inspire you to try it and add to your recipes. So thank you so much and enjoy the rest of the day and I love you all. Bye y'all.